Hi everyone, welcome back to Felix Art World. Today I am cutting out a stencil of an elephant. I normally make them out of the cereal boxes and also gift boxes, the, the ones that come in folded for sweaters and stuff like that. They're also very useful. So these are previous stencils I've done and they're really good even if you're not gonna sponge over them they're good as a guidance. I, you can sponge it on. At first I thought I was going to sponge on this um, elephant, do it on black over the stencil. So you can use this as a guide if you don't know where you're going to position your figure on a bigger canvas that the stencil is a really nice, um, a really good, a really good way of giving you an idea. So here's what I have so far and I'm just going to go with a time lapse to save time and memory. So here it is, all drawn. Now I'm gonna, I need to find the, I'm gonna cut it out with an X-Acto knife. This knife is really sharp. You have to be really careful not to get your fingers with it. So it's all cut out, got the positive and the negative. So at first I thought, well, I'm just going to sponge it in, use the negative and sponge it in. But um, for the project I did, I could have used this guy. But I didn't change my mind till I finished uh, cutting the edges, the sides of this stencil here. I found the center of it, made sure the bottom was perfectly straight. Then I found the center of the elephant, made my marks. Use the actual painting as a ruler and by the way the painting is a bore it's a wooden bore the compressed recycle type of board and I actually found it at the dollar store I just gesso them up paint or prime them over and do my dirty pores on them it's a really easy way and affordable way of experimenting with dirty pores because you never know what's going to happen when you do a pour. And you can only pour over them a certain number of times, maybe two or three max. And that's if you didn't get a texture on it, if the, everything went smooth. So I decided to paint it on with a brush because that way I'm more in control of, of the tones and everything else. Plus I wanted transparency. I wanted, I still wanted to see some of the background. Here is almost finished. I think it's missing something so I added some of the neon, pink neon that you see on the background. And this is actually the blend. This is already mixed with the uh, flow troll. So it's gonna be even more transparent. Which is nice because it's more like a glaze. So it's nice and transparent. It's a really, it, it was a rather easy elephant to do. 
not too many details i don't have to worry about the wrinkles of the skin of the elephant or the hairs i could have hooded hairs but i didn't anyhow hopefully this design this project here gives you ideas of what to do with your own paintings to give them a different touch well thank you for watching and give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more bye